What's happening, everybody? It's your guy, Golden Cash. I just got back from the bank. It's Monday the 14th. They told me last week they only had two boxes, but they searched and they found four boxes of half dollars. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into these boxes and see if they, uh, they have any enders. Hopefully, they're just as good, if not better, than the last boxes we've had. You know, I, eventually it's going to turn off the silver wheel, but... I'm going to take advantage of every silver and every box that we get. All right, I'll be back. Let's see if we got some enders. Okay, so I went ahead and went through all the boxes. There are absolutely no enders, zero. Um, so hopefully we have some enders inside these rolls. Or the silver might have just stopped. We might have got all the good boxes already. And who knows? I'm going to start with box number one, and uh, we'll see where we go. If I have enough film to do all four boxes, that's what we're going to do. If not, I'll do another two-part series. All right, here we go. Roll number one. All right, roll number seven, and we got some silver right there. I know you can see that nice, shiny piece of silver right there. Let's check it out and see what year it is. If it is silver, it is. It's a 1967 Philadelphia. All right. Silver on the board. We'll start there with a 40 percenter. Let's keep trying to find that silver. All right, and this is a half a box update. We've got one. That is it. One silver so far in box number one. Hopefully, the back end of this box will have some more. I'll let you know, and I'll bring you back as soon as we find something. All right, and that is the end of box number one. We didn't get skunked. We got one out of it. You guys seen it? Roll number six or seven, eight, something like that. <laughs> but it was slow. It was a slow going box. Uh, I'm going to jump on box number two. And hopefully we can find some silver. I'll be back when we find our first find. All right, we got a half a box update. I have not found anything. A couple of NIFCs, but I did not keep them. Hopefully we can find some silver in this back half of the box. I've got 20 rolls left. Let's find some silver. Okay, finally, roll number 33, and I think you can see it right there. We're going to have some silver. It is silver. Let's see what it is. It's a 1964 90%. Finally got a 90. We got 140, 190. Come on, back half of this box. Let's find some more silver. All right, and I'm back. Roll number 35, and I know you can see it right there. It looks like an older edge. I think it's a Kennedy, but I don't know. I think it's a 90%, and we're about to find out together. It's a Kennedy. Oh, and it's a 1969 40%er. 1969 Denver. Well, it doesn't matter. It's still silver, and it's going in the box. All right, let's find some more. This back half has turned out to be a little bit better than uh, than all the others. Let's keep finding that silver. All right, and that's the end of box number two. I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump on box number three. We found a couple on this one, but not like we were on the last boxes. I'm going to go ahead and jump on box number three, and I'll bring you back if we find anything. All right, we're on box number three, roll number three, and we're going to have another one right there. I don't know if you can see it, if it's focusing or not, but we're going to have another one. Let's see what year it is. It's going to be another 1967 Philadelphia. That's great. All three boxes so far have had silver, and that's what I like to see. All right, let's keep trying to find it. All right, I just want to show you guys. I'm uh, 19 rolls in, 18, 19 rolls in. I just opened this roll up, and these are all brand new, uncirculated 1997s. Every one of them. I have never opened a roll with that many 1997s in it. That is crazy. All right, I just want to show you that little thing, and, and uh, hopefully we can uh, find some silver here pretty quick. All right, and I'm back. Roll number 27, and I know you can see it right there. It's shining, shining white. I don't know what year it is, 
Let's pull it out and see. It's going to be another 1967 Philadelphia. All right. I think that makes two for this box. Let's see if we can find them. It's uh, um, halfway through the box, so I was fixing to do an update. We don't need to do one now. All right. Let's keep finding the silver. All right. And that is the end of box number three. Let me go ahead and jump on box number four and see if we can find some silver. We found a couple on this one. Hopefully, we can find some in box number four and end it like that. Call it a wrap up and see where we land. All right. I'll be back when we find something nice. All right. Box number four, roll number one. I started pushing the edge out, and you can see it right there. It looks like it could be an older edge, but I was wrong on the last one, so let's push it out and see if there's any more with it. There is not, and it definitely looks like an older edge. Let's see what it is. It's going to be a Benjamin Franklin. A 1953 Benji. And it's have a mint mark. It does. It's a San Francisco mint. It has an S mint mark at the top. That is actually pretty cool. So, I don't think this would be a proof. It, if it is, it's pretty ugly. All right. There's another 90. First roll. Let's keep catching this silver up. Man, I just... A 90%. And that's it. All right, let's hit roll number two, see what we can find. Okay, so I just looked this Benji up in the Red Book, and there's only 4.1 million 1953 S's. So this is actually a pretty rare find in a, uh, a box of halves. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start looking for some more. I just figured I'd let you know there's 4.1 million of these minutes, and I got one in the box. All right, and I'm back. Roll number 11, and we're going to have another one, and I didn't even see it. I had to do the sound test on it, but it's going to be right here. Let's see what it is. It's definitely 40% because it's got a clad ring in it. It's going to be a 1965 Philadelphia. All right. Let's keep finding that silver. Roll number 20, and we're going to have another one. I started pushing the roll out again, and it's third from the ender. We didn't have any enders in any of these boxes. Let's see if we got friends with this one right here. And we do not, but you can see it right there. Let's see what it is. It's going to be a 1967 Philadelphia. <laughs> All right. We've been cleaning up on these 67s uh, last uh, last hunt and the hunt before. We got a bunch of them. All right, let's see if we can find some more. All right, roll number 29 is going to give us another silver. It's going to be right there. All right, let's see what it is. It's going to be another 1967 Philadelphia. Those 67s are really, really common in these boxes. All right. Let's see if we can find some more. We only got a few more rolls left. Let's see if we can find it. All right, roll number 33, and we're going to have another silver right here. Let's see what it is. Uh -huh. It's going to be a 1964 90%. That is awesome. We're hitting the 90s. Let's keep finding this silver. Roll number 47 is going to give us another silver I guess we saved the best box for last, and I don't know how we did it because none of them had enders. I figured we weren't going to find anything, but we got another one right here in roll 47. Let's see what it is. It's a 1968 Denver. All right, two rolls left. Maybe we'll find one more. If not, I'll bring you back for the wrap-up. And we're going to end this box on 50 with another silver. Let's see what it is. Roll number 50 gave us another 1967 Philadelphia. All right. This has been a pretty good box. All right. I'll come back with a wrap up and show you everything that we got. All right. And that is the end of box number four in this four box hunt. 
And let's do the wrap up while we're here. All right. These boxes weren't as good as the other ones, but we did find some silver. We got a 1953 S Benjamin Franklin, two 1964s, one 1965. We got six 1967s, a 1968, and one 1969. Uh, a really nice 1997 Denver I'm going to add into the book. And then I actually found four DDOs, which is actually pretty good for four boxes. All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so I can keep on bringing you the hunts. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.